openly against the Tory coups? Who is here anti-austerity? Who is here pro-education? Who is here pro-NHS? Jeremy Corbyn, let's chant. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn. Can we use that? Oh, Jeremy Corbyn. This is the best. This is the best opportunity we've had since Blair took over the Labour Party to actually have a Labour Party opposition which offers real change. Real possibility for change from the fastest oil in the number 10 for the last 30 years. And if we get involved in petty squabbling because we're not fucking adhering to the right party line and we don't get behind Jeremy and try and organise a mass movement for real change, we will never have this opportunity again. So I'm asking you that was Ruth one and was Will in power and was Corbyn as Prime Minister, then we can start trying to change other things. But at this moment in time, it's vital that we keep united. It's okay if we uh, talk about this one. That's it. There are a lot of people who don't vote in this country. And most of those people are poor. And they don't vote because in their life struggle, Labour councils have evicted them. In their life struggles, Labour councils have closed their libraries. In their life struggles, Labour councils have closed down their local park. That is the fact. And it is also a fact that those poor, those poor don't vote because they don't trust Parliament and you know they have a good reason not to. Parliament, with all its procedures, its black rod and its dressing up and its A's and its nose because the power you know, lies in the city of London and the big corporations. We have to have people who will go after the big corporations, and I'm afraid that does not include in inner city London the Labour councils who have been on the front line of carrying out attacks, who have stood by the bedroom tax and evicted families. They are the ones that poor people, which is to say the three to four million children and their parents who live in poverty in this country, they have to deal daily with their local council. We urge you to go to your local council and tell them we want an end to the benefit cap the benefit cap which is taking away rent protection from millions of people in this country. Now Jeremy Corbyn, on his surprise elevation to leadership of the Labour Party, did send out a directive telling local Labour Council leaders not to vote against austerity rules. Keep it legal, keep it nice. Legal and nice has meant that in this country there are millions of children living in poverty. Legal and nice means that in this country there are millions of old people who are being shuffled round as their homes and as their places of care are being cut down. Daycare centres, where? Camden, Islington, Haringey, Labour councils. Now be honest, face the reality. It's a hard battle ahead and we have to take the battle to those who have the power. They have the power, their friends are in the city. Their friends are the big corporations. 
Right, so don't take it easy, mate. We've got to start now and fight on every front. Don't be taken in by parliamentary procedure because you know what? A High Court judge said the other day about the benefit cap, which was cutting local housing benefit for a single mother of four children. He said, my ruling is that this is unjust and cruel, but I cannot override Parliament more. He said, I cannot override the United Nations rights of the child, but Parliament can. So let's be a bit careful about Parliament and parties and voting because maybe that is not the way we'll forward, at least for the poor. Thank you. Okay.